University in London in the BA for Film and Photography. Hi, uh, I'm Richard Bevan. I am the Programme Director for Film and Photography and for Film Studies at Richmond. We've created this short video to give you some insights into the degree program and some contact details in case you have any questions. What are these degrees really about? Well, so we have two degrees uh, that relate to filmmaking. One with an emphasis on the practical aspects of filmmaking called film and photography. And another degree which places the emphasis on film theory and history called film studies but both of them share core principles and approaches. With both of the degrees, we really think about what is special about the liberal arts. And with the liberal arts, you get to experience lots of different subjects and different ways of thinking and different ways of working. So we've planned our two degrees, film and photography and film studies, around that core idea. So rather than teach one mode of filmmaking or one approach to filmmaking or photography is very open and draws upon the, the core ideas of the liberal arts that there'll be lots of different people coming together in the classroom with lots of different interests, different ambitions, different ideas of what they want to do with the future. So we really kind of embrace that at Richmond with these degrees and take a very open approach so some of our students might make short films, others might make music videos, others might want to be content creators and start a YouTube channel. And we try and allow everyone to kind of bring their own interests and ambitions to the programs and use them to achieve those goals. Let's dive a bit deeper into what we'll study here at Richmond. What kind of courses and specific modules do you offer? Okay, so we have a large variety of modules that both degrees. Uh, we have a large variety of modules that students from both degrees will be taking. Um, so for instance, uh, in your first year, students take practical classes uh, such as the Foundations in Photography, which is an introduction to sort of key aspects of photography such as composition and using the cameras. These are very important tools also for people who want to become filmmakers. We have another class called Sonic Media Production where students learn all about sound. It's a sound design for filmmaking, creating their own podcasts. Um, as you progress through the degree, you'll take a series of film-based classes and photography-based classes that are both practical and theoretical. Um, in your second year we have uh, the history of photography for instance that combines some history and theory with some practice. So you learn about uh, historical photographic techniques but you get to try them out as well. Um, we have in the upper division we have uh, specialist filmmaking classes such as documentary theory and production where you plan and make um, a documentary around a subject of your choosing. We have another class in the upper division called Script to Screen, where you develop your own script and then adapt it to the screen and actually make the film. And then right towards the end of your degree, you will be working in uh, senior projects. And in senior projects, you have two semesters to develop your own creative project, which is completely open. So we've had students who've created uh, photography-based exhibitions and other students who've made their own short films or documentaries. How would you describe the progression in subject matter for the film studies degree? Because I know that there is some, I guess, practical filmmaking involved, but um, it's a far more reading and theory heavy kind of program. Yeah, so in film studies we have um, different stages of introductions to film history and film theory. So they will start off in the lower division, such as classes, introduction to film studies, where you will learn kind of broad ideas of um, the history of film, where you look at different genres, different theories, um, different approaches to directing and making films. 
and as you progress you have more specialist classes so we have uh, a class called film in the americas which specifically looks at films from that region of the world in the third year we have uh, two modules that are very popular with students we have post-apocalyptic worlds and superhero cinema which really dive deep into specific genres which many students are passionate about with film studies i think what is special at richmond is alongside doing these theoretical modules you also take the practical modules so you're not just learning about different um, genres from film history but you actually get to make them as well you don't just learn about the, the theories and ideas of documentary filmmaking but you get to actually make your own documentary so there's a really excellent I think relationship between those two things the kind of theory and the practice working together mm -hmm. and that is applicable to both degrees just one with an emphasis on the practice, one with an emphasis on the theory, but we see both of them as super important if you want to become a sort of practitioner in the creative industries. How would you describe the assessments of all of these classes be like between the two different degrees? Because I know it's quite different. Yeah, so with each class, students will have a syllabus which will outline exactly what they will be learning and how they will be assessed. In the theory classes you'll be writing essays and taking exams and in the practical filmmaking classes you'll be making your own projects. So you'll be making photographic projects, making podcasts, making short films, making documentaries. But in each of those classes there'll be very clear criteria that will be shared with you. So you'll know exactly how you're being assessed and why you're being assessed. You'll get very individual feedback based on what it is you're being assessed on. So you won't just be given um, a, a, a grade or a result. You'll also have individual feedback from all of your teachers that will explain exactly why it is that you've got those specific results. And across the board, the assessments... Um the briefs for the assessments are pretty open. You can do a lot of different creative, personalized kind of things with your final assessments rather than just answering a very specific question. Yeah, I think that's very important. I think in both theory classes and in the practical classes, as I mentioned earlier, because we're working in a liberal arts system and because people are coming from all different backgrounds, and lots of different um, majors within the school will be within your class together. We try and keep our briefs really open so that you can really bring your own interests to everything you study here. My students at the moment are working on a completely open brief so they can design their own brief and they can work on their own projects. If you're in at one of the film studies classes, you'll be asked to maybe write a report about a director or a film or a genre, but we're not going to specify what that might be. So you could hopefully choose someone you're really passionately interested about, like lots of our students are. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of these really open concepts and briefs and everything, there's a lot of resources that Richmond has to offer that students can utilize rather than having to um, come up with creative ways to, you know, make things happen. Yeah, I think one of the advantages to the liberal arts systems, you have a very, very thorough technical introduction to your subject by your professors. It's not something that you're left to kind of figure out on your own, um, which is it, which it is in, in, in some institutions. Um, here you're taught about edited theory and then you're shown how to edit. You're taught about approaches to cinematography and then you're taught how to use the cameras to be able to achieve those things. So we've got excellent facilities here. We're here today in our studio, which was previously Disney's studio. Um, and within that studio, I'm just looking around the room, we've got lights, cameras, microphones. We've got a wide variety of tools, which is available to all of our students, ranging from analog 
vintage film cameras to state-of-the-art cinema cameras and all of these are available to be booked out from our resource store and students can take them away and work on their projects. For free? For free. Um, can we discuss internships? Yeah. When would you take an internship theoretically and do you recommend that students take advantage of this? I think the internship program is a real strength of the liberal arts and Richmond's approach. Um, a lot of students choose to take the internship during the summer period because we only have two semesters rather than three terms like other universities. So there's quite a long summer and it's an ideal opportunity to use that time to not only get credits for your degree but also to learn hands-on of what it's like working in the industry that you'd like to work in. We've got specialist um, support for helping you find an internship and supporting you while you're on the internship and the internships have been an incredibly valuable experience I think for almost every student who's taken them. Learning about things in the classroom is very different to being in the professional environment and it's been extremely rewarding for students who've come back. So lots of students choose to do the internship at the end, towards the end of their third year or even right at the end of their degree and sometimes for students they materialise into, into offers of employment in these places where they're doing their internships. What kind of organisations have students in this programme been able to work with over the years? We've had lots of people go into different areas of the creative industries so people who've worked in for small production companies, people who've worked for television channels, people who've worked for content creators, people who've worked with fashion designers. Yeah, the whole broad breadth of the creative industries we've had students work with them. What have students gone on to do after graduation and the end of their programs? We've had students go on to do lots of interesting things um, in relation to filmmaking and the creative industries. I think one of the nice things that we were able to do at Richmond because we've got such small class sizes is we have very close relationships with our students and we get to know them and we stay in touch with them for a very long time and often we're able to invite students back to come and speak about what they're doing. So we've had students uh, tuned back in who are now working in LA on all of the biggest feature films that we're sort of seeing in the cinema in the UK. We've got um, had a student who uh, went straight to work for Universal Music as a TikTok curator. We've had students go and work for Netflix. Um, other students choose to go on to postgraduate studies and we've been very successful in getting students accepted into the top universities in the UK and in Europe. Where will prospective students be studying? We're very fortunate that we've just moved to this beautiful new campus on Chiswick Park. Not only is the campus all new and state-of-the-art, but we've got some very excited neighbours. So directly opposite our building is Warner Brothers. We've got Paramount. We've got lots of the biggest names from the creative industries around us. and. During your degree, you will be able to go and visit some of these places and have tours and meet people, uh, hopefully, possibly do internships with them. So it's a very exciting place to be for film studies and for film and photography. Mm -hmm. it's, we're the luckiest, the luckiest program in Richmond in terms of our location. So I'm going to ask you a question. What is your favourite part of the film and photography program? Um... I would say that it's the attention to students by the professors. Um, it's not just my program, which is a very practical, interactive program, but um, across all of the degrees, every student has the privilege of having individualized attention from the really knowledgeable and tuned in professors in their degree program. and. It's certainly been beneficial to me to get close to my professors and really get to know them as people and be able to um, show them that I'm interested in opportunities 
and that I'm flexible to take opportunities when they come. Um, you mentioned that there are pretty small class sizes here. Can you talk a little bit about the program of advisors that we have here? Yeah, so I think one of the very special things we have in Richmond is that every student as an academic advisor, I'm your advisor, mm -hmm. as you know, so this is a point of contact for you over your whole degree. Given the vast uh, options we have in terms of modules, it could be a bit of a minefield if you were just left to choose your own classes. So you have an academic who's a specialist in your area who supports you, helps you navigate these choices while you're on your degree, and also supports you in other ways. So if maybe there's other things happening in life, there are a challenge currently, you have somebody, a point of contact who you can reach out to and meet with, or they can support you with that. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you need anyone to contact, um, please contact us here for more information.